Hey everybody, I'm Greg Zoll, and welcome to another CIQ demo. So today's demonstration is gonna be passing information in Ascender workflows, right? So whenever you create a workflow, you uh, have multiple job templates and say there's variableized information you wanna pass in between those job templates. How do you do that, right? If you do it with just kind of a standard uh, set fact, if you're trying to do that, right? Like, so normally when we're gonna create variables and we're gonna save information, we'll use the set fact module and that's great, but that's scoped to an individual playbook. It won't actually move between. So there is a little trick uh, that we utilize called set stat. It's a special module. So in here, I've created a workflow, a very simple one, I should say. Let me rearrange this. I've got two playbooks, one that uh, is tied to a job template here, right? That's really just pulling a bunch of uh, variableized information in different formats uh, because I want to show you exactly kind of what it does whenever you're like tweaking and tuning these settings because unfortunately the documentation doesn't really clearly or even remotely state what's going on in that fashion uh, and the second one just displays it right so here are my set stats and the uh, the workflow itself so set stats one that's going to grab all the information set stats two is going to display it and here's the workflow tying the two together here i'll show you in the visualizer really quick it is just run the first one run the second one nothing really cool or complex about that so i'm going to go ahead and just launch it really fast uh, i'm assuming several things if you are curious about how information moves between workflows i'm going to operate under the assumption you know how to write a playbook you know how inventories works projects all that stuff so i'm not going to cover any of that i've done a lot of that in the uh, getting started or quick start guides as well as the lesson plans that are coming through so if you take a look here again this one is just running and collecting all of the information. I'm gonna take a look at the output. Here I'm gathering facts, because really I'm just doing some fact gathering. Everything runs clean, and then we're gonna to go to the output section. So I'm going to pop back into my jobs here, and I will get to the one where it actually outputs everything. And what I'm gonna to try to do is go back and forth between the playbook and show you the results, just to maybe make it a little bit more clear. If you want to gather facts, you don't do anything. So by default, it's going to do all that stuff. You can see I have gather underscore facts false. I usually put that at all in my playbooks, but here I commented it out because I want to use some of that information in this little demo here. I have kind of the first four using the set stats module. And when I say there's very little documentation, let me move over to it right here. Here is the set stats docs, and you can see it doesn't say anything about workflows or how information moves between job templates and workflows. You see there are a couple of parameters that I'm interested in. One is aggregate and one is per host, but really it doesn't tell you a whole lot about when to turn these knobs. It kind of gives you an idea of what they do. Per host means keep stats on a per host basis. By default, it doesn't do that, right? So kind of the stat is just this one incrementing value. And then aggregate. What exactly is that going to do? It says it's going to aggregate values, but what does it actually look like in playbooks when you run it? First, you can see I am doing uh, right here, I am doing set stats using the set stats module. You have to use the data parameter and then all the variables you want to create go underneath that. So here I am doing uh, per host true and aggregate true. So by default, aggregates on, right? That's why it's not actually specified because that is the default value, but we're doing per hosts. Uh, true and aggregate true here we're doing per host true again so the first two are going to be kind of on the stats module it's going to be collecting per host stats and then aggregate false and if you take a look over here at my output whenever it gets called over uh, or rather whenever that information gets passed over the per host values don't actually get sent over it doesn't send any of that information over period so let me show you exactly what does get sent over. So this is the second job. And what happens is the set stats collects information and passes that over, but not on a per host basis. If you specify per host, it sends nothing. All that information is actually right here. It's passed as extra vars, right? In the extra vars section, it places that information. And that's what gets passed over. That's why you don't see those per host true value sent because they just don't make it over. Right here, we've got our other two that are per host false. And uh, again, that is default behavior. I went ahead and overtly put it just so you could see it um, in this case right here. So we've got a per host false with a um, aggregate true. And then down here, we've got an aggregate false. And so what does that look like? Aggregate true. 
Uh, one of those hosts is returning 8.8 .8 and one is returning 8.6. As you can see, when you aggregate stats, it is just smashing those values together. So it'll just keep smashing them into one big giant thing. So not always the ideal behavior. Sometimes that might actually be the case and be useful, but not always what you're looking for. If you have aggregate false, uh, that means it's not gonna do that aggregation and this just keeps getting reset. So every host that runs will reset this value to something new and whatever happened to run absolutely lasts. In this case, 8.6, uh, that's what actually gets passed over as extra var. Now that's not always the ideal behavior. Say I'm setting some specific setting that uh, makes sense to be used across all hosts or it's just some informational value, or maybe some kind of counter that I'm creating. Um, it could work well, right? To have one kind of one value, one variable uh, to represent everything, right? But what if I actually did want to pass over per host information? Well, you can kind of fake it. Uh, and this is my workaround right here. Again, trying to show you a couple of different options and what happens when you tweak those knobs. So now that I've made the screen a little bit bigger, it might be easier to see. The first one, you can see I have aggregate false. Right? So uh, it's also going to remember by default have per host off because if we do per host, nothing gets passed over. But one has aggregate information false, one has aggregate information true. So the one that's false, I am building everything and you can see it only passes over one host worth of information. So whatever ran last, that's what overrides the variable and gets passed in. The second one, I have aggregate true. So that means it's going to allow all those hosts to kind of pump in information. So you could see I had two hosts. One is Greg Rocky 86 LTS. One's Greg Rocky 86 non LTS. And so you can see I'm keeping per host information. So if I wanted to, in my second playbook where this information gets passed, I can look at this dictionary and I can put in inventory host name, right? Like variable name and then in brackets inventory host name and then I can reference the version variable after that to have this very specific hosts information. Let's break down just a tiny bit what I'm doing right here in the variables. You can see they're both created the same way. What I do is I have the variable name and then I will inside of the double quotes, double mustaches, I have the variable name again. I'm piping that and so whenever I'm piping it, I'm moving it to an additional plugin to do some other operation to it. Here I have default and then one bracket, one bracket or one curly brace, one curly brace close. And what that does is that sets up an empty dictionary. So if I am trying to run this and it's the very first iteration in the loop and that variable doesn't exist, rather than erroring out, it will just say, oh, default value for this is just make it just make it a blank thing. Then it's going to pipe it and it's using the combine plugin. And what the combine does is it will take uh, two dictionary, multiple dictionaries, however many you want, and it will kind of combine them together. And you can see I have one curly brace there. I'm doing inventory host name, right? That's the variable of, or rather a magic variable, which is one that's known to Ansible. And inventory host name is, what's the host that I'm actually running on right now? What's its inventory name? So it'll put that, and then it'll go down a level, right? So it'll break underneath it in the dictionary. It'll have version uh, is the new key, and the new value is gonna be, be a uh, variable. And these are some of the facts that we collected, right? The Ansible facts, distribution underscore version. And I can keep going down the level. Um, I could actually uh, use this in kind of a loop fashion to develop this, right? To kind of flesh this out if I want to. I can loop it down below and then build what that loop information looks like, pass that in. Uh, so there are multiple ways of kind of adding extra information in here, but Hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can not only pass just regular information, regular, you know, standard uh, collection, maybe statistic information over, but also how you can fake it and do per host information. Well, thank you for your time today. I hope you learned a couple of things. I know this can be kind of tricky. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear from you. If you would tweak or tune this to fit in your environment, I'd love to hear that too. If you are tired of counting nodes and you wish there was a better way, guess what? I can help you with that as well. We have awesome support on this product. So thank you. Uh, keep automating, keep uh, workflowing, happy set statting, and we'll see you next time. Bye.